Our special guest on Shed TV today is legendary NRL coach and sports journalist, Roy Masters. Tell us, what are some of the activities that you enjoy in the shed or around the house? I like creating things. Uh, at the present time, I've created a, uh, a vegetable garden here. This was once a very barren, overgrown area. Uh, I scraped it all back. I brought in topsoil. I cr created a space for some sleepers. And so uh, I've got uh, a vegetable garden, which I hope will last me for the next seven or eight years. Roy, how do you keep healthy? Uh, I essentially stay healthy by going to the gym uh, about three or four times a week if I can. Then of course I also take uh, Rupert the dog, uh, he's 13, but he can uh, still keep up with me on, on walks. And of course there's the garden. And I love chopping wood. And how do you look after your mental health? Uh, what I do do is uh, really spend a lot of time thinking about the business columns, the business sport columns. You know, the, the price of stadiums, the salaries of footballers, uh, the value of TV rights, things like that. They do take a lot of complex thinking and analysis and uh, I find that that's sufficient taxing mentally for me. Here at The Shed Online we're interested in communication. How do you use the internet to communicate? I do respond uh, via the internet, uh, to, uh, via email, to people that might write to me in specific questions. Um, particularly as they relate to sport. I maintain contact with, uh, with my friends and, uh, and also my relatives. Um, it's a very, very effective way of communicating and a cheap way. What life lessons have you learnt from coaching? Players want a very organised training session. They don't want to, to get there and then suddenly everybody drags out the witch's hats or somebody's got to try and find the key to the showers. They want things to move very, very smoothly, so you've got to be organised, and that's a skill that can help you with the rest of your life, you know, getting your tax return done in time, doing the shopping properly, making sure the car's serviced, thinking ahead. But also you need to have very effective communication skills as a coach. Players want to be told simply, fundamentally, quickly, what they need to do right, what they're doing wrong. What involvement do you have in coaching these days? Today, for example, uh, I'm going down to talk to the Storm players and they want to tap into my past in terms of the rivalries that I experienced as a coach, both with Western Suburbs where we had massive rivals with, uh, uh, with Manly and uh, also my time at St George where we had significant rivalry with the Bulldogs and, uh, and Parramatta. Uh, one of the big questions in sport is who coaches the coach? Now I'm not saying that I coach Craig Bellamy but I'm always available there for him to pass ideas across if he needs to. And tell us, what are some of the highlights of your life? A uh, very proud moment was when St George had three teams in the, the grand final in 1985. Uh, we won the third grade, we won the second grade, sadly we got beaten in the first grade, which is the most important one by a point, by the Bulldogs. But uh, I've also covered ten Olympic Games for the Sydney Morning Herald. Uh, that's been a massive highlight. And uh, an annual highlight is attending the Western Suburbs reunion. Before we finish off, got any tips on uh, who might take out the NRL Grand Final? Well, I'm going to be greedy and hope that there are three teams to fight out the end, or there'll be four, but I hope three of those teams would be West Tigers, and I coach West St George, and I coach St George, and um, the Storm, who I have a little bit to do with these days and um, strongly uh, support here in Melbourne. But in the final analysis, I think I've got to go for my current loyalty, the Storm.